Okay, here we have one cup of black beans going in to soak overnight. And I'm going to go ahead and start cooking my black beans. So first I'm going to drain them. They've now been soaking for about 18 hours. I'm going to rinse them briefly. Now to measure the yield. Okay, as you can see, one cup has turned into two cups. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and put the beans into my pressure cooker. Alright, so there are the beans. They're getting warm. I'm going to go ahead and add about one teaspoon of salt. Now, some people don't believe that you should add salt to your beans, but there doesn't seem to be any real evidence that it causes them to toughen if you add it too soon, so I always add mine at the beginning. Alright, so as you can see, the beans are just now coming to a boil. So I'm going to go ahead and add the lid to the pressure cooker. Now we're going to just bring the beans up to pressure. It should be about 15 PSI, and I'm going to set the timer for 15 minutes. Which is Alright, so it's been 15 minutes since these uh, were turned off, so that's a half an hour total of cooking time. And we have black beans. They still are firm. So they're just about perfect. Alright, I am going to be making black bean chili. We're going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil. And then we're going to add our onions. Alright, our onions have gotten nice and translucent and soft. And so we're going to add the peppers. And we're going to go ahead and add the garlic and the jalapeno. I actually prefer to uh, use the seeds in the jalapeno because I like the little extra bit of heat it gives. We're going to go ahead and add the dried spices. Once it's nice and fragrant, you can add your tomatoes. salt. Bring it up to a simmer and then we're going to cover it and let it go for about 20 minutes. So while our chili is cooking we're going to go ahead and make the avocado cream. So first of all, avocado. Roll the lime a little bit to help break some of the cells in there, make the juices come out that much easier. Lime, reamer, I like a lot of lime, so I'm going to add the whole thing. About a quarter teaspoon of salt. Quarter cup of cilantro, water, and as you can see, there's the avocado cream. All right, it's now been 20 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and add the beans. And we will continue to let those flavors meld for another 15 minutes. All right, the chili has simmered for the appropriate amount of time, so it should be done. It's good. So we're going to take the chili. We're going to add it to our brown rice that we made already. Serve that up right over the brown rice. Add a little bit of our avocado crema. Just add a little bit of extra fresh cilantro. And we're done. Ready to eat.